I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. Before I knew it, I'd fallen into an unused sleep. Monokuma Theater. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. Who do you think guides the world? Speed, of course! That's why Formula One drivers are so popular! And the idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spend their entire life working on it. Hello? Ignore me, I didn't even know <laughs> press that button. Uh, so someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than a back... Okay, I feel like this is, like, anti-gay, and I don't know how to feel about this, cast. <laughs> it's better than backstroke or breaststroke. drive through is better than sit-down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard in the standard sit -down world. Sit-down is way better than a drive through I don't know what you're talking about. Mono. Well, 0. 0.00002 seconds later. <laughs> A.K.A. the time it takes you to wake up. Um. Bing bong, bing bong. Good morning, morning. Everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I really like that deliver. I woke up to the eerie sound of Monkuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ah, another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, ding dong, bing bong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Ooh. And I- ooh. So. Celeste. The only thing that may overwhelm a strategy is luck. And since luck is programmed into you from birth, it's fair to say I will never Okay. Max SP plus one. Also... Now that I think about it, um, Torneco's pants. What? Read it. Oh, the latest style from Premier Gothic Lolita fashion label Wonder Dungeon. We hadn't read that one. We read the other one, so mm, yeah. Eh. All right. I wonder who could be at the door. Hey. Ishimaru. Ah, I do it. A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption! Without waiting for a reply, talk a barge into my room. Let's just leave. I don't think I'm gonna get out of this easily. I'd better just talk to Taka. No. Taka, 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 Taka. What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas might batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted! You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. If you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back! That's how you can overcome any storm! I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all need to really come together- Oh, so this is when they start doing it. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together! And, and this is the beginning of that fateful day! Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience! That's all for now! I have to let everyone else know the good news! Taka didn't even wait for a reply, he turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. I thought we'd done this. I thought so too, but I don't know. I think because I mean okay. the dining hall after initially everything happened. Yeah, you're right. It, it was the first time when what's her when Kyoko didn't show up. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. When everyone thought she might have been yeah dead. Look around again. See if you can click other stuff. I know I can. It's chapter based. It's chapter by chapter. Just try it's it. Day by day. Fine. It says the same things, which means I'm not going to get anything new. Okay, you ready to talk? Mm, I guess. We're going to left. Well, let's start with the back people. Toko Fukawa. I think we should start with Ishimaru. But okay. Yeah. No. Oh. oh, shit. What's the point of talking to me? 
Takashi the one who got everyone together. Go talk to him if you have questions or whatever. I want to see what people say, so I'm just going to go through this and see any ones I like. <laughs> you would have a heavy annoyed side. I'd rather be ignored completely than suffer that kind of insult. Yo. Good morning. Yes. Let's just hurry up and get this over with. Talk is getting antsy. You miss Sayaka. I know. Good I morning. Good morning. Good morning. To bring everyone together for a breakfast meeting is a very Taka esque suggestion. Hi, there we Makoto. Go. Good morning to you, Makoto. She can make even a basic greeting feel elegant somehow. That's the power of a celebrity, hey, I guess. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Good morning, Sayaka. Yo. Morning. Man, waking up to the sound of Taka squawking is not a fun way to start the day. Good morning. Ifumi, you don't seem too energetic. How can I be? I got woke up by the annoying, obnoxious, nightmarish guy. This is why I hate 3D so much. There's a... Okay. Um, ah, is that you or me? It's me. I think it's you. Good morning. Good morning, Chihiro. <laughs> it's nice to get to eat with everyone. With so many people, it's actually kind of fun. Um, Hyo goes behind Hifumi, also. Yeah, I know. Good morning, Makoto! Good morning. Breakfast time, breakfast time, gotta eat a big breakfast step, breakfast time. Not what I was trying to do. Trying to... She's hiding. There we go. Hey. Taka looks pretty impatient. We'd better get this started already. A breakfast mate and I. Perhaps it will keep me entertained and make life with everyone here a bit more bearable. Okay, okay. If I absolutely must talk to you, let's just hurry up and start this stupid meeting. Taka's just gonna throw a fit if we don't. Listen to me. Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time. Hmm. I already know I mentioned this early. Wait, which one's Kiyotaka? That's Ishimaru, loud boy. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but what? in order to get out of here. No! That's. I think it's a bad boy. I said loud boy. I... Oh. <laughs> huh? I, okay, the, the, for some reason, the first name always fucks me up. The first name on everyone fucks me up. In order to get out of here, it is essential we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! You, you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I feel like this is a lewd, and I don't feel I don't feel comfortable. Seriously, well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously, nothing at all. Anything! It can be how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything? Are you okay with this? <laughs> You're gonna die. Huh? huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! Well, what the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, what? sounds like a girl wants to live here. In hell, more power to her. But Jesus shit. shit. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> sure, feel, th feel, feel free. Uh -huh. 
One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. So, I mean, staring Why else would freaking... we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Uh, um... Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Explain. A murderous fiend, Chihiro? Do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Well, maybe. I mean, I, I can't really be certain, but... Certainly, it's not a concern right now. Oh, well, whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys ever heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? I... Uh, what? Have I even spoken to him yet? No. <laughs> um, I, I... Okay, give me a second to figure this out. Um... I think you just did Pompous Rich Boy. It's a monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That's about co that about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Hey, yeah. what's up there, Tucko? You look a little bit sick. Um. Anyway, whoever Genocide or Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. If he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. Speaking of. It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, gonna be okay. Because help's gonna be here soon. I'm sure of it. Help? I mean... We've been stuck here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Oh. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police. What are you doing here? You guys. Seriously? Did you understand do you understand what role the police exist to fulfill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. And then you sure you really rely on you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on. Are you, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you got to do is kill. What the hell? You know? I'm just impressed with the total commitment to this whole act. You're still going on about that? Dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Mr. Serial Killer Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, we know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here's already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start kill- Oh, there's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Wait, I think yes. Ding, ding, ding. I figured it out. All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's why I couldn't understand, but I just realized that there was one very important piece missing. What are you... If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Also, hey, Gabe. Um, yep. Um, we were wrong. That was day three we were just in. Because this is day four. Okay. Well, I... Don't know how many days there are, so I was just. I don't know I said, how we fucked up. 
power. Because we already played a day off camera. Well, not off camera, but in the previous recording. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Just confusing. Whatever. Keep going. Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Stop changing the goddamn subject. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, but does don't worry, it's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's especially a video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What? what are you talking about? Um. Huh? Oh, Master's so impatient today, why don't you just watch it and figure it out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll just have to figure it out for yourselves. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden with this school. I won't try and stop you. Because, to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you, too. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. Perhaps, but what we about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so. Mondo started glancing around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey! You say how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Oh, yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you hey, one. Um, if Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're killing on the both of ya. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then where's this specific place Monica mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then it is the AV room. Well... That's how it was locked until now. Also, uh, cast for your heads up, I was kind of choking for a second there. Ignore me. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. When you said, what's up, that was me oh, kind of oh. choking back. Yeah. Mucusy problems. Alright. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It should be able to play DVDs, but I don't see any actual discs nearby. Oh. DVD player is useful, useless by itself. We had something to watch, at least that helped with the past. The box. What? The box. Okay. Well, there's something inside the cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVD. No, sorry. A bunch of DVDs, and each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. For some reason I thought he gave them to us. Weird. I'd better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't fall after, I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. It's the cardboard box the DVDs were in. Makes the monitors... Okay. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs I'd found in the box and found the one with my name on it, and then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen, and then... <gasps> That's his dad. Mm-hmm. I, I remember the mom and sister from the one time I've seen them before, but that's still not... That's weird to me. 
You know what I was realizing? And my heart started racing because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching us, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If I had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was normal high school, I would have been happy if a little embarrassed. With my family's support for a while, and I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having this feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. So what we know about it is that there's scratches and tear or something. And the, no. broke, the window in the back is busted open. Yeah. Um, and the room just a uh, mess in general. Yeah. No gunshots or anything, so that's good. Mm -hmm. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating through the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Look for the answer after graduation. Also, that's that's the Donkey Kong Font, logo. Man. Yeah. What's this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How can I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Kath. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. What's on them? They all started gathering to the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the fuck? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. I can't take it anymore! I can't take it anymore! Let me out of here! As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see, so this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to live, so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It's the classic prisoner's dilemma. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. That kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says you'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our heads. That's exactly what they want us to do. What? This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. Okay, then maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help everything get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? 
I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us! Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it. I don't want to be loud. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to be loud! Okay. <laughs> she pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Sayaka? That's enough. Let it go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedy junkies. I don't care what happens to her, surely. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't y'all... What? Then why don't y'all go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Bye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. I don't feel like talking to these people right now. Well, actually. What should I do? How are you doing? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Why? How can something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't... To be able to do something like that, is it because they really are a murder of the murderous being? And... What was... Oh, that's you. What was in your video, Kyoko? Why should I tell you? That's fair. And... You, because I actually really like you. <coughs> what was in your video, Taka? I saw... Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. That's a very fair reaction. And I honestly don't... I like Sakura, I'm gonna be honest. What? What was in your video, Sakura? My family. Oh, I'm sorry. But I am not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? I honestly don't give a crap about the other two in this room. Who are they? Junko and... It was Hif... It was Hifumi and Hiro. Oh, I thought Junko was still in there. I didn't see her if that was the case, and that just shows how little I care. She can't have gone that far. I should check around the school. Um, probably, like, if it's in the school. Nope. What? <laughs> it wasn't her. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I'm looking for... I really forgot her name midway through saying it. Maizuno? Thank you. I... There's Junko. Yeah. I'm looking for Maizuno, and you I didn't find Maizuno. just the map, Maizuno. my dude. I literally just said in the school, so I was just going from room to room. Figure exploring's fun. Also, I still feel like there was a fast travel system that let me go from person to person, or at least nearby people. Um, there is, yeah, but I don't know how to use it. I didn't use it. Even on PC. Here we are. And the music went... I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or... no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? 
what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out! Let me out of here right now! Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think they might have ha what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would, would be in uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I just kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned in my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small Why? and shaky. Why is this happening to me? I've to made my mistakes. I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <gasps> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with this big, wet eye of oh. hers. Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust, so please. No what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I can get through this as long as you're here with me. I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey, hey. It's standing up! Nikoto, ah! it's standing up. What's standing Yo up? Yo, dick! Do you, even need, do you even need to ask? You're flagpole. Get the hell out of here. No, no, I want to join in. Damn it. Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Oh, it's about to come out. It's going to come out. My pristine, pure white stuffing. Be honest, innocent stuffing is... Innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, shining all my power and let it go with everything I had. But Are are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, you were slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all still lacking. Um, what the heck was what what the heck was that just now? You just wanted to mess with us. Um, well, for now, you wanna just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we'd just created. Sack and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaken. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. You're right, I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need some rest of my own. G 
Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems, I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the, who's the, what the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problems? I want to get out of here, but I could never kill someone. Do the others feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Hey, Gib. We should probably stop here. I'm going to. Okay. I was just finishing that. Guys, that's it for today. Next time on Let's Play Danganronpa. Next time on Danganronpa, things are gonna get... Different. Different. <laughs> Different. Interesting, what? some might say. Alright. See you all red next rum, time. Red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. Goodbye.